Good day to you and welcome to another tutorial from Xenotrust. I am going to show you how to set up your Visual Studio Code editor to look like CodePen. Okay, so this is the CodePen website and essentially you can write code on CodePen and view your code in like a browser preview in real time. So if I click on pen, um, this is what I get. So this is like a um, standard CodePen editor. So first off, I'm going to change my view to look like this. So I prefer my code editor on the left part of my screen and I'm, go I'm going to expand it just a little. And because I'm not going to be using the JavaScript, I'm going to minimize the JavaScript editor. So basically, I just have my HTML and CSS editor. CodePen actually has um, some Emmet integration. So if I say dot .container, okay and I hit the tab key it creates a div with a class of container okay so within that container I'm going to say dot circle and I hit the tab key again and then it creates a div with a class of circle if I I'm gonna add a paragraph tag and within that paragraph tag I'm going to say hello now what would happen is that we have hello displayed here so essentially that's how code pen works okay uh, well, it would be nice to have this kind of setup on our Visual Studio Code Editor and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. But before then, let's add a little bit of style to this HTML code we have here. So I'm going to say that container and I would say something like I wanted to have a background color of let's just say like something like a gray color. Okay, so I'll say hash EEE. -E -E. And I want it to have a height. Okay, so so we have it right here, but it's really small. So because that's the um, area where the hello world, you know, occupies. So I'll say I want it to have a height of 100% of the viewport height. And okay, so yes. Well, you, you notice there's a border around um, the browser preview. We can simply remove that by adding a... Um, universal class selector and say we want a margin of zero so this is like a reset and a padding of zero and that should take care of that okay so I will select my circle class so I'll say that circle and I would give it a a height so maybe I should start with the width. So I'll give it a width of let's just say 200 pixels. And I'll give it a height of same 200 pixels. So because I want it to have I want I want to create a circle, okay? So and then I'll give it a background color. So maybe I should just copy this background color here. That's not to type too much and okay so but this time i'll give it a background color of red i'll just say red okay so we have a box right here right now what what what, what we want to do next is i think we're going to i want to i want to center this so i'm just going to use the um, flex box so i'll say display flex on the container class that is so i'll say display flex okay and I'm going to to align it um, to center it both horizontally and vertically. Basically, what I'll do first is I'll say justify content to center it. So justify hyphen content. Now this will center it in the horizontal direction. Okay, so horizontal means from like left to right. Okay, so um, I would say center. And watch what happens okay so it's centered horizontally but then then i also want to center it vertically so i want to create a circle in the center of this page okay so to center it vertically all you have to do is to align the item so i'll say align items so it's an item with s okay and then i'll say center and that should center it vertically so essentially using flexbox this is how you center stuff both horizontally and vertically just in case you didn't know before okay and then it would also be nice to you know center our hello world um you know in the center of this red box okay so let's add some more styles so first off let's give this a border radius 
of I'll just say 50%, so 50% and percent. that should make that a circle, okay? So it doesn't make sense that our hello world is hanging outside here. So first off, let's um, give the hello world a font size. of um, I'm just going to say 20 pixels or maybe 18 pixels, not too big. Okay, so it's maybe 20 pixels is fine. TPX. All right. So um, to center this, um, you know, perfectly in the middle of the circle, all you just need to do is to use this uh, display flex property. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put it here and watch. okay so i did not copy the d so display okay so it's perfectly centered maybe i'll give it a color of um white so that would be harsh fff and that will be fine so we have a perfect um circle with our hello world perfectly centered in the middle and then the circle is also perfectly centered in the container okay so i hope you learned something from that um but if you didn't that's not even the purpose of this tutorial so now we were able to do this using code pen and with this live browser preview i'm going to show you how to set up this same stuff on your visual studio code editor so i'm going to open my visual studio code editor and in my visual studio code editor i have two files open so i have codepen.html and style.css yeah okay and then the style.css file is linked in a html file so this is it here blah 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 href style.css so essentially what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to my extensions tab and i'm going to install two extensions okay i already actually have them installed so you should actually do the same the first is the live server okay by read with day so go ahead and search for live server if you don't have it installed and install it in your visual studio code editor okay so it's it's just a small button here you should see install and go ahead and install it just like this okay and then next look for browser preview so that's b yeah so browser preview yeah so look for browser preview and then install it it's by this guy kenneth ochenberg so go ahead and install it so those are the two plugins you may need or you need to have that visual studio code kind of feeling um, in your code pen um, to have the code pen um, set up in your visual studio code well there's one more plugin that you may benefit from and that is called open in browser so let me just look for it so yeah so open in browser by tech er so go ahead and install it if you may and i think it will make your life a little bit easier okay so what i'll do next is i'll just copy the code i have in my code pen so i'll just get the html i'll do a and Control c and then within this body of my html code here i'm just going to paste that in okay first off I, I don't think we need this stuff here so i can close it up and make my um code a little bit bigger so I have the HTML code. Oh, before I even start copying stuff, let me just um, let me just do what I need to do. So I'm in my styles.css. I'm going to write. I'm going to press Control Shift and P to open my command palette. Okay, and then I'm going to search for browser preview. So if I say B R O W, you see browser preview is already here. So I'm going to click on that to open the browser preview up. So this is the browser preview on uh um, what's it called? on our visual studio code editor good now next come to your style.css right click and click on split down so what that does is that it opens up your style.css just below the um html code here so i can go ahead and close this one here and so i have my html here and my styles.css okay just below it so what i'm going to do now is i am going to um First off, I'm going to save this. So I'll say Control Save, and then I'm going to right click on my HTML file, and then I'll say Open with Live Server. So I could have easily used the 
um, shortcut alt plus l or alt plus o but i'll just right click and click on open with live server and that should open it on my normal browser what i'll do now is i would copy this link here so this is the live server link i would minimize this and i would paste it here so control v and then i'll open it up in my browser preview right here now what i'll do next is i'll go to my code pen and i will get the css for that um circle i did and then let's just paste it in our css file here in our visual studio code and then let's save and see what happens wow so we have we saved this guy here and immediately we saw that it displayed here on our browser but then let's make some changes and see what happens also so i'm going to change this red color to green and i'm going to save it and immediately my uh, browser preview change to green essentially when you change when you make changes on this and you click on ctrl s to save the change is immediately affected here okay so let's just add uh some an exclamation mark here and let's save and we have that displayed here as well so um well it was looking a little bit blurry because i increased the font size of my um, visual studio code so if i do control and plus it increases the font size and it makes it a little bit blurry but if i set it to normal then the color returns sharp so this is how you can have a visual um, a code pen kind of setup on your visual studio code and see your changes in real time okay um, I hope you learned something or you benefited something from this tutorial. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like content like this, then I want to encourage you to subscribe. I create content around tech. All right. Thank you so much and see you in another video.